$6.20. That's now 10 wins from 18 starts and uh, a horse well and truly on the way up has a bazza. Now the Bunbury Cup, we are on starting time, so the field just arriving at the start, they are running late. Zarific is the favourite and still double that price, New South Wales and Unitab. Son of Vasak, five sixty. Alibi Bay at $7.80. The Swan Draft Bunbury Cup is getting closer and we'll be heading to Darren McCauley for the call very, very soon. Then we head back to Gosford, race nine at 10 minutes to seven. Poppy Joe, the top rater, Super Spree on 95, Lance's Memory 90 and Fairy Kisses on 90, 7425. And the update looks this way with a few hopes. Favourite is Just Blitzem at $3.70. It's a positive name, isn't it? Ninth event, Gosford in four. Then the second, Penrith in nine. And Demarquis is the top rater for that. Ahead of Glencoe, Fella, Illawong, Jong and, and uh, Melissa Charm. Eight, three, one, nine. So a couple of uh, rougher ones given hopes according to the ratings. The favourite, Glencoe, Fella, ahead of Not Your Pride. Tirado, King and Marquis, the top rater, uh, on the third line of betting. It's for the C3s over 1720. Returning back to scale at Mooney Valley, has a Bazza for Damien Wilson, 160, 120. Entrap and 1090, come to attention, 620. Quinella, 33, 30. Exact is 77, 10. And the trifecta, $477. We'll be back with the Bunbury Cup next up on Sky Racing, a big crowd in attendance. Moving forward for the Bunbury Cup, Zarific the favourite, as we have a look at the full update on screen. On our second page, Money is Magic and Tap Dog, given chances. First of them have moved in, ninth event at Gosford in two minutes, and uh, just Blitzem the favourite ahead of Super Spree, and uh, people interested in that Gosford race, uh, don't forget that will jump right on to the heels of this Bunbury race, so uh, be warned about that. We're going to head to Bunbury for race six. Here's Darren McCauley for the call of the cup. Son of Vasak has met with backing. He's into 5.40 as they continue to load the field for the Swan Draft Bunbury Cup. Money is Magic, who chased a Zarific home in the Pinjarra Cup. 6.80, Alibi Bay, 7.40 and Tap Dog. The star Geraldton Galloper is at $8.00. Now just a handful of runners to move in at the 2200, including Clan Noble, Tap Dog, Jason Brown in the saddle. Jason won this race on Celestial Show in 2000. And he has Tap Dog over near the outside of the line in the stalls. Yelmar Boy from the Great South comes up. Clan Noble. And a four stay, Holmesville Lass amongst the last few runners to come along and complete the line. This cup is run at Group 3 level. Wonderful crowd in attendance on a picture perfect day in the southwest of WA. Clan Noble walks up into stall eight. So four stay with John Clayt, who was successful aboard Turmeric in the BMW Perth Cup on New Year's Day. Takes four stay into the gates. The local mayor Holmes Villas is in and they're all set. Runners are locked away for the Swan Draft Bunbury Cup and there's the red light. Stand by. Set now, they're racing. And Zarific near the middle of the field began fairly. Charming story was out in a hurry. Money is magic, broke very well, and so did Tap Dog. He and Alibi Bay coming right across, and it's a bit like the charge of the Light Brigade here at the 200 the first time, with Holmes Villas being pushed up on their inside and cutting across towards the rail is Party Boy. Six across the track, Holmes Villas at the judge on the first occasion's gone through on the fence to lead Tap Dog. Alibi Bay got stranded three deep, the speed's on early. A length away, then Charming Story. Party Boy. Boy sneaking up on the fence gets him a nice posse behind the speed. Clan Noble out a little wide from the favourite Zarific and Killer Dias on the inside of that duo. One and a half to Son of Vasak settling about midfield inside Money is Magic, then four stay. Min players back on the fence, third from last, and then came the only mare in the race, Tailani, and Yelmar Boy snagged back to the tail of the field. As they go up to the back at the 1300, Holmes Villas, the local, leads the way by a length and a half on Alibi Bay. On the fence, travelling third party boy going great guns 
runs inside the Gerald and Galloper Tap Dog. Charming Story fifth outside of Killer Deus and then Clan Noble. Just behind them, Zarific centre field with 1,100 to run. On his inside, Son of Vasak and three quarters to the grey. Money is magic. Over on the inside next is Mint Players. They head out onto the side of the course. Over on the outside, starting to make up ground is Yelmar Boy and back last is Tayalani. But Holmesville Lass at the 850, striding along a length and a half, Alibi Bay. On the fence, Party Boy running third inside tap dog just being niggled at by brown to get him to fire up on the bit one and a half to clan noble they're being followed back on the inside by killer deus charming stories in the middle money is magic's got zarific bailed up in between horses yelmar boy making a sustained run went around the outside son of vasak bolting behind them when they jam on the turn then four stay mint play well back and tailani the favorites back third last zarific stakes having to bring him to the outside and again he got hampered for a run at the uh, 250 though and Yelmar Boy, the great son that have reached the lead from Tap Dog. In behind them, Money is Magic. Four Stay is starting to run on strongly. Yelmar Boy in front from Money is Magic. Four Stay down the outside. On the fence, Mint Play coming with a run. Money is Magic. Yelmar Boy, Mint Play. Yelmar Boy. Yelmar Boy in a boil over in the cup. Wins from Money is Magic and Mint Play. Zarific didn't get the best of luck finishing on their heels with Son of Vasak. Then Four Stay, Killer Deus, Tap Dog. Next time at the head of the others, Tayalani, Charles story didn't stay and then came alibi bay party boy weekend clan noble is well back and after setting the pace holmesville lass is last in very close photo at bunbury we'll have to come back and check the numbers in a moment real bob of the head go gosford they're moving in and just about set to go we'll come back to bunbury in a moment here's john mcdermott Boxes set to jump in the ninth Away they go, and Elsie Robbo jumped good off the inside in the set of Fairy Kisses, and Just Blitzen going across to lead Poppy Joe, who now takes over as they run to the bagger, four lengths away to Lance's memory. They were followed by Fairy Kisses, a, a good way back to Elsie Robbo, Kiwi Hog, and then came Super Spree and My Spider travelling to the turn, and the leader going beautifully out in front, Poppy Joe. Poppy Joe's going to bolt in. Poppy Joe down the line, beat Lance's memory, or on the inside there was Just Blitzen. Fourth to finish, Fairy Kisses, and then came Elsie Robbo, followed up by Kiwi Hawk, Super Spree, and My Spider was last of all. Number seven, the winner, Poppy Joe. Very close for the minor numbers between the two and the eight. Not much in that. Number seven, Poppy Joe, the winner. Good winner, two by Solid Emotion, Go Nan, owned by M. Campbell, G. Carragher, and J. Pope, trained at Port Macquarie by Greg Carragher. Nice win there by Poppy Joe there in the ninth event. And two eight, race nine at Gosford. Still a photo at Bunbury. Here's Darren McCauley with more at Bunbury. Confident that he had won the race. He thrust his whip high into the air, shortly going past the post. And that's about as much as an indication as we've probably got. But money is magic kept coming at him in the dying stages and the judge wants the look at the photo finish and it is a very tight photo well, as i say uh, from our angle here it looked as though he had got there king thought he had won the race thrust his whip in the air hope he hasn't done a greg hall there again from where we stand it looked as though he did win but the judge wants the photo and I'd hate to gauge how many pairs of eyes are fixed upon the judges box looking to us for some assurance as to whether Yelmar boy or money is magic has won the cup okay a thrilling finish it's not all over yet the fat ladies only just cleared the throat and uh, the judge still no closer to making his deliberation well this is very tight Yelmar boy and money is magic Paul King in the replay with his whip in the air. All right, so it's close. It's resting between numbers 12 and 16 at Bunbury. And uh, it was a desperate go to the line. And uh, I think you'll find... Uh, we're just trying to get some information through from Bunbury and uh, they are still deliberating. There's the photo. May even be a dead heat, this. It's between 12 and 16. Money is Magic Yelmar Boy. And Darren McCauley about to announce the result. 
Penrith is getting closer, race two, then we're back off to Bendigo at seven o'clock. But uh, still a delay after the running of the Bunbury Cup. Here's the last 100 metres or so. The photo between money is magic. Troy Turner and Yelbar Boy, Paul King, who thinks he's won it. And uh, it was a real bob of the head finish with the outside horse just getting the bob close to the line. It was a real heads up, heads down, and uh, still no result. So in modern times, it's uh, very, very rare for a photo finish to take so long. But of course, it is important, uh, an important race, the Bunbury Cup. And uh, th look, the longer, uh, the longer the judge looks at it, the more you would think it's a dead heat. And looking at that photo, you would suggest it's very close to one. Not Your Pride is the favourite at Penrith for race two, a C3 pace over 1,720 metres. Be watching your monitors because uh, we will flash the result up in just a moment. Here's Kevin Thompson at Penrith. Thank you, Matt. The uh, second race here, a C3 over 1,720. Not Your Pride favourite for Brian Hancock. One of three uh, Brian Hancock runners tonight. Doesn't come to Penrith very often, Brian, but he's here to drive them all himself, th three runners. And it'll run favoured here, not your pride, but there is support.